Referencing your instrument inside your project to some existing points is really easy. We're going to show you how to establish your instrument position using two points. First thing we're going to do is select the reference point routine. We're going to select the point we want to measure to, which is in point 16. And I'm going to press the measure button. This first point, I don't have a prism, so it was a re reflectorless shot. But now the second point, I want to use an EDM mode that lets me shoot to a prism, and we're going to search for the prism. So the instrument's rotating. It'll lock onto the prism. Which is indicated by the green lock. We're going to select the point we want to measure to, which is point 15, and take another measurement. And as you can see here, some error, uh, standard deviation, the error or the precision of this setup has been established and displayed for us. If you press the info button, you can choose which point is going to be the reference point or the back site. And that's going to be point 15. And to finish this procedure off, you just store a new point. I'm going to use point number 18, description, I'm just going to call it setup. I could leave that blank if I need to or want to. And then we're just going to accept the screen here. It's just a summary of what was done. And you'll see we've got an instrument icon now on point number 18. This other icon indicates your current reference point or your back site. And at this point in time, we would be ready to start measuring and we could lay out points or record some as-built data. Some other useful routines. A checkpoint routine can be used to just confirm that your uh, current setup has been established properly. So you could check into maybe a third point that you have. And there's also a benchmark routine. So if you needed to transfer a uh, specific height to your current setup, you could do that by shooting to a known benchmark on your job site.